Hello and welcome. This is a video review of Glimpse 0.1.0. Before reviewing this software, let me just tell you a little bit about who I am. My name is Philip Witt. I'm an author of several A-Press books, photo restoration and retouch professional, and graphic designer. Glimpse, released in late 2019, is a powerful open source image editing software program. It's based on the popular program GIMP, which has been around since the mid-1990s. GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. In open source parlance, Glimpse would be considered a fork of GIMP. They use the same base source code, but as time goes on, the developers of Glimpse will introduce features unique to it, and the similarities will start to diverge some. You may be wondering why create a new version of an already existing program? Well, in some parts of the world, the word GIMP has negative connotations. For most people who use GIMP, myself included, the name really isn't an issue. However, the developers of Glimpse do make one good point, and that's that business and educational environments that were reluctant to use GIMP because of the name may more readily adopt this program Glimpse. So I guess time will tell. Now we can spend the rest of the video looking at Glimpse and what it can do. As I mentioned earlier, Glimpse is a free open source image editing program. If you go to the website glimpse-editor.org, then it'll take you to the home page as we see here, and you'll see the big download button. And when you click that, it'll take you to the page that will show you which operating system you can download it to. Now currently, it works on Windows and on Linux, but it doesn't work on Mac at this time. However, GIMP does, the, the original GIMP, and there's also a program called Seashore, which is another GIMP variant, which is specifically for Mac. Like GIMP, Glimpse falls under the GNU General Public License. Basically, what this means is you can make copies of it, you can give copies away, you can install it on as many computers as you like, which is great for a business upstart or an educational environment where paying license fees is a consideration. And you can also modify the source code. That means that you can make changes to it to suit your needs if you're good at programming. So the first thing we can check out is the interface. Now what I have pulled up here is the GIMP interface and what we have here is the Glimpse interface. And if you'll notice they are very similar. In fact they're almost identical. The only exception being that if you'll notice here Wilbur which is the GIMP mascot is not in the background. But other than that, they are virtually identical. So what can you do with Glimpse? You can do a whole lot of different things. You can create original artwork. This example is one I created just a few days ago using Glimpse. You can edit photos, such as convert black and white photos into color, or colorize them. You can digitally remove unwanted objects and do other types of editing and you can restore damaged photos such as this one. I'll now provide a short demonstration on a few photos of what Glimpse can do. This is the exposure dialog so in this somewhat dim image I can brighten it up some and we can see how that works. And this one I'll use the Shadow Highlights dialog because what I want to do is brighten the shadow, the dark area in the foreground. So we'll do this using the Shadow Slider. We'll raise it up and we can see it brightens it quite a bit. And then the Color Adjustment, I'll lower that just a bit 
because it looks a little too saturated. So that looks a lot better. And let's provide a split view and you can see a difference of how that works. It's a very useful tool. And on this last image, I'm going to use the Levels dialog to rebalance the colors and, and restore most of that faded color. So we'll go into the red channel and move the slider till it meets the histogram and we'll do the same thing with the green channel on each end and we can see it's looking better already and lastly on the blue channel we'll make those same adjustments move the sliders until they meet the histogram and now we can see that it looks much much better one thing to consider, and this probably won't matter much to most casual users, but GIMP is um, slightly more up-to-date than Glimpse simply because Glimpse is based off a slightly older version of GIMP. It's still a 2.10 version of GIMP that it's based on, but it's I think it's somewhere like 2.10.8 or 2.10.10. So um, it, it's a little bit behind as far as updates, but again, I think to many casual users or new users, I don't, I'm not sure that's really going to matter too much. And also, Glimpse does not have its own user manual. You can you can use the user manual from GIMP though. It's uh, it works perfectly well since the programs are virtually identical in most respects and to get the GIMP user manual you just go to the GIMP website and under docs or documentation you'll find the page for the GIMP user manual and then you just scroll down to the language that you want which for most people I think will be English most not all and then it'll pull up the um, GIMP user manual So I hope you found this review of GLIMP somewhat helpful. And if the name GIMP for whatever reason is bothersome, then this should provide a viable alternative, especially if you like open source, free open source software. So if you want to give GLIMP a try, just go to the website and download it and see how you like it. Thanks for watching.